I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 that's more convenient not talking. And I think that's why a lot of people don't talk. Um, but it was nice, Mr. Carbone, you made our airport look bigger and better and grander than Augensburg, the way you presented it. Well, it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. About it. Yeah, and I really felt that after your talk. And uh, I was just wondering, um, you know, we're not as isolated as we were 40 years ago, a long time ago when we got that contract. And, I, I know I'm, I don't even know if I'm allowed to ask questions or not, but I'm always hearing about how much of uh, the tax dollars are being spent. You know, at the airport, I always hear about, you know, uh, work being done. Uh, you know, the last two meetings, I think, have, except about the airport, well, three then, four months, it's all about mm -hmm. airport, 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 airport. And I like to hear about diversified stuff, but. Since there's so much airport going on, I'm wondering if you could tell me, if there's a surplus every year, how much do we make as a, a, a town running a, an airport? How much do we make every year, the surplus? Because I've, I've, I've tried finding this answer myself. I've only gotten 2016 financials. I still haven't got 2017 or 15 to compare to. 2017 is 80,000 less of a loss than the previous year, actually, thanks to Frank and the crew at the airport. Okay, and let me just say this. You cannot really come up with a number of how much it costs, right? Let me ask you this. People fly in the casino, right? Do they stay at your hotel? Um, we have had a right, couple so of how do you quantify that as how much it costs, how much you get in revenue, right? Because you collect sales tax on your room. That goes to the county, so it's going to right here. Uh, bed tax so, also. Bed tax also. Percent. So to quantify how much the airport makes or loses is very difficult to do. Um, I know at the end of the year with my business how much well, my net yeah, my well, net is. Do you so not have a net number? 163,000. We lost last year. Yeah. 163,000. We improved that by $80,000. So the prior year was 200. Add, yep, add whatever that is. 239, I think it was. Yep. Previously, it was, like it was 259. In the previous year, that was 259. Mm -hmm. So it's even a. a so it's oh. less now. We're actually that, that's, gaining. That's why it's key that the airline buys fuel. The airline rents a hangar from us. That's how we generate revenue. But we're still losing about 163,000. What does that get lose? Well, let's go. Back, let's go back to. Let's go to net revenue. Okay, so comparison Messina to Augensburg, Augensburg made a net revenue of 47000 more than we did. So they still took a small loss. They still took a loss. They did, actually, yes. But it was 40000 less than Their loss was, was $2,880,000, somewhere in that neighborhood. Not oh, I was exactly. really confused then. The year before was $1,200,000. The year before was $1,100,000. The year before was 900 some odd thousand. I know, I don't really, I don't, Augensburg I could care less about. I was just asking questions about our own personal 
personal airport here because it's one of the businesses that this town runs. Right. Which you all you all run mm -hmm. a lot of businesses here, yeah. right? The airport, Messina Hospital, the what else do we have? Rescue spot. Rescue spot. Electric company, right? Library. Library. Museum. Library. These are a lot of business. How many of you are businessmen? How many have owned business? Can have this person answer why the airport is important? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we, we always just get, this is a public comment, and we are kind of getting out of context, but it's up to the supervisor whether you want to continue this. What? I, is there a point, Gina? Um, I wanted to know if you're, if none of you are really, like, a business-minded person like I am, you know, um, I heard in the newspaper today about the hospital has this strategic business plan. I was wondering who wrote the strategic business plan for this non-for-profit. That's kind of where I was getting into it because I had to write my own business plans and my own grants for my business because I run a business, you know, and I don't have someone on payroll to do it, so I do it all, you know. And I was just wondering who wrote that strategic business plan for Messina Hospital? Did the town or the hospital write it? Someone from uh, an employee? Yeah, you'll have to ask the hospital. Point of order managers to run the day to day operations of that facility. And was there any future projects to replace the entire town garage? Is there one? I'm sorry. Any future plans to replace the entire town garage? No, not yet. It's, it's being looked at. There's, there, there's, it's being looked at. That's all. It's in the Stages of evaluation, I guess you want to call it. O'Shaughnessy, you said in the newspaper that uh, uh, you like laws, bylaws, the rules, regulations, and stuff, and I'm still reaching out. I want the town of Messina to have rules and for procedures for town board and councilman meetings and for a public comment rule section so we're all following the same set of rules. Because I'm still very curious about our Messina sign, and I'm afraid to ask any questions if we're getting a new sign, if we can just get our entrance signs back, you know, so people from Canada know where Messina is, or people traveling. And that's, that's I understand it. that. That's yeah. a project I'm working on, unfortunately. Some other things have developed <coughs> since then and have taken precedence. My sign at the motel when I took over was awful. I hated it, just like you guys hated your signs. You know, I didn't take it down until I got that new one up. I couldn't take my business off the off the map. And Messina is a business, and I just need that sign put back up. And uh, um, it's been almost a whole year, you know, project. Like I, I'll, I'll keep bugging you till I get procedures and the sign, so hopefully the next meeting on old business could be, you know, an update for us public people. Thank you. I just have one comment, obviously, about the airport. Uh, our airport, uh, if there's a natural disaster, just so everybody knows, we have the capability. The airport will run. There's generators for the airfield, there's generators for the terminal building, and there's the generators for the RF. So if we lose power or have a storm, our airport will run. You know what's sad, Frank, on a follow-up for that? My little motel has no generator. When Messina Electric, and thank you for three and a half years, and I probably have to write a grant to get some funding for a generator for my little 15 year motel or some something, but I don't even have one. So, and in three and a half years, Messina Electric has only lost our power for a half hour. And I just want to say thank you for, for me as a business owner, not losing clients because I don't have a generator. You do a great job as well as all the rest of the town entities. You know, the hospital, the highway department, the airport crew, the libraries, they're all great people, all great services. Anybody else? Yeah, did you? Sign in. Okay. Thank you. I'm very new.
Everybody's so, so are nice. If you'd like. So, you can for it. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm sorry I was late. Uh, I meant to be here sooner, but I uh, had to charge my electric car to get here. Um, so, the, the airport is very important because I fly to, from Boston to here a lot, mm -hmm. and I use the airport. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Can we get your name? Yes, Yanni Tasa. Yanni. I'm originally from Bulgaria, so my name is a little bit difficult. Um, for business, for any business, this airport is very important. And um, I probably would not be considering moving my business here if there was not an airport. So the government's job is to create infrastructure. It's not to run for profit. Profit comes afterwards. You build the infrastructure. That's right. And um, I must commend you, because I've, I've been here since 2001. And the infrastructure is still intact. And you have one of the most valuable things that it's not very obvious to most people, and that's power. And it's just that businesses don't know how to use it. Um, I have a background in batteries. Love electric vehicles, remanufacturing batteries, and using electric vehicle batteries for energy storage. And I'm very eager to come here and open up my business. So, what this town needs is not a for profit government, it needs for profit businesses. And that goes with the infrastructure that you have. And you need an airport. Because with jobs, that airport will get busier. So, I agree that looking at the bottom line just at the airport makes no sense. You have to look at the entire town. So I would love to be an instrumental to creating jobs, whether it's manufacturing or whether it's you know bringing up technology. Um, you know, about 100 years ago, we went from having decentralized economy to having these huge factories and everybody going to one place. And this is what Messina has suffered. A lot of businesses have gone to very specific areas including Alcoa, including GM, they have centralized certain locations and they have kind of forgotten about these decentralized remote areas. Well, with technology now, this is changing. Now you can have 3D printing at your house and you can essentially make auto parts at your house. So there is a new revolution in the next five to ten years that's going to come about that it's going to take advantage of this cheap power that you have. And I think that that's the primary input besides jobs, and obviously there is plenty of labor in the staff. Labor that is just ideal. It's not being utilized. So I think that you have to be very positive. I think you have to look at the airport specifically to your, I gather as critique. I think that airport is an essential infrastructure. Right now there's three flights per day. I was very happy to read that in a newspaper that I picked up a little two weeks ago, three weeks ago, that the contract was extended. It doesn't matter what airline it is. It's just the link is very important because when I have to fly in professors from Northeastern University or nanotechnology guys to look at facilities here, it's a huge convenience. Because driving an electric car from Boston to here is kind of difficult. You have to stop and charge. And the, and the, only, <laughs> the only good place to charge is uh, Gladsburg and the casino. And I, I have a charger at the municipality I check, which is very convenient, but it's not a Tesla charger. Right? Do you know we have one? Uh, yeah. Yes, you do. You do, and I, I would actually, to show you, I would commit and I would donate a Tesla charger to put next to that one. I'll pay the cost of whether it's five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. As long as the the town can guarantee the running power line, I'll put a Tesla charger, not the expensive ones, but the uh, the, the level two. So it's all jobs. The jobs will. Yes. Do. You ever heard? <laughs> I want to make sure I spelled your name right. No. Yeah, it's I A N I Tasa T A S S E D. Can you spell your last name again? Yep. T is in Tom, he has an apple. S is in Sam, S is in Sam, he has an alpha, he has an alpha. So if you can buy power here for 2.7 cents per kilowatt, and you can transport it on rail to Westchester County in 12 hours and sell it at 60 cents, that's a business. Because you tell me any other business that can make 20x in 12 hours. You just guys don't know how to transport it. And that's why I'd love to come in. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Uh, our regular meeting, we have a resolution. The water supply agreement with the village for all kinds of
street. Motion by Al, seconded by Sam. Any further, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 The water supply agreement is already in place. You don't need to sign anything. It's just letting you know that it is automatically renewed every five years, and these are the new dates. So it's just like an announcement. It's not anything you need to approve. If you ever have any objections, you would contact the village in the time frame. So this is already rolled over for five years. So it, it, it doesn't need to be approved. Rule number two. I need a motion to set the organizational meeting for January 2nd. And so moved. Second. What do you want, the 5 or 5.30? 5.30. 5.30 is fine. 5.30. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? So carried. <coughs> we need an authorization to put out for bid a. Oh, this is uh, yeah, what's the rest of the yeah. So we want to accept bids for 2006 Ford E450 Super D. No, I was out of town. Did they discuss how they're going to market that? No, they did not. They were not 100% sure on how. Roger has pulled together a lot of pictures, and he has sent them to Pam, and I think Pam sent them to all of us. Um, it's not been discussed exactly what or how we're going to. He wanted to know how we wanted to do it. Well, he told me. He sent it to me, and he yep. wanted the board yep. to approve to put it in the newspaper. Yep. Out for bid. That's what he told Well, me. I think there's multiple ways to market used emergency vehicles. And he didn't know much about websites or, because there are websites out there that do just this type of stuff. Well, um, I would, I, I'm not opposed to authorizing it to go out for sale, but I would think you and I as liaisons to the rescue squad would approve how that's going to be marketed before it goes out, mm -hmm. because there's multiple um, consignment auctioneers out there, there's well, he wanted sorry. us to, to talk about it, to make, okay. to make the decision, but he wanted the information brought forward for this meeting. Okay. Yeah. So why don't you two talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we authorize for this to go out to bid with the approval of the liaisons yeah. of the uh, well, way we'll to market. out for bid and you two figure yeah. out how to do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Extension, so Made the motion on that. You did. Melanie accepted. Melanie, okay, thank you. <clears throat> and I'm looking for a authorization for me to sign an intermunicipal agreement between the town and village for services of a court officer can, with us contributing up to a maximum of fifty-four hundred. Such a shame. Authorization, but the actual fees have, right? And right. we still we pay on an hourly basis. And it's not just a flat rate. So right. You so get, you pay a bill quarterly, right? Right. But it would be a maximum of fifty four hundred, and it's for our having the court officer yeah. uh, we share with the, the village. So, so Albert, we need a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Abstention. Abstention. Okay. Good a relationship. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, something that's not on the uh, agenda, but uh, we're, we did a little shuffling, or we would like to do a little shuffling on the BDC, the Business Development Corporation. Uh, Dan Pease has been, his term was up, and he was the town appointee. And the village appointed him last night at their meeting. And then because of uh, his address, Anthony Miskovich was moving outside the village. So they asked if we would appoint him 
for a five year term on the BBC. I'm never that. You know I motion, Mr. Yes. Supervisor? Please. I'll make a motion that uh, Mr. Mr. Pease be allowed to be, the, I mean, be transferred to the village appointment of BDC and Anthony be the uh, town uh, BDC, BDC rep for a five year term. Sir, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? It's okay. Transfer and amendments? I'll make a motion to transfer and amendments be approved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I make a motion that the warrant signed today by Councilman Nicole and myself be paid. Second. We have a motion and a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? So carried. You have your financial reports that Brenda sent to you via email. Are there any committee reports that anybody wants to report? The uh, two projects at the library, the uh, Library Resource Center and the wheelchair lift projects are completed. Uh, and obviously everything is uh, functioning and operating. Just waiting on a door for the Resource Center that was back ordered. Um, uh, I would just like to uh, make note that uh, Senator Griffo, who got us the money for that uh, $75,000 grant, uh, was up here a week and a half ago and uh, toured the site. Thank him for his continued uh, support. Looks great. Yeah. So, and at the airport, uh, uh, CNS was here last week. We reviewed the uh, airport security fence project, uh, getting that ready to go out to bid for March. And the uh, they are getting and pulling all the information together on the uh, parking lot. Uh, I guess the parking lot upgrade uh, over by the terminal building. And the terminal hangar, uh, the heating system and electrical service uh, upgrades are on the way. It should be done within another, by the end of, the, of uh, December, we should have those completed. Okay. Anything else, Albert? No, I have any meetings tomorrow. Anything new with the rec? It's a whole there, uh, anyway. But anyway, they have the Christmas tree competition and the turnout for that. Um, other than that, it was uh, business as usual. A lot of appointments at uh, the end of the year here in May. The WPBS commercial uh, to use up the DOT grant, which was allocated to marketing, um, will be coming to this board probably by the end of the year along with several different style logos that we need to look at. <coughs> I know there's been talk about a new logo. Um, I asked them to, in this agreement, to go ahead and try to produce some new logos for this board to look at. And uh, they, they sent the first round, and um, I had them, and I asked for a couple changes, mostly to add the rivers better rivers to recognize our rivers and they're working on that and that should come to you too real soon within by the first of the year so um, nothing will be approved obviously without full board so hopefully by the January 2nd I'll have them to you and we can discuss it a little bit at our organization meeting maybe and that's all part of that package that's no all extra added cost right no added cost that's all part of the right. uh, deal it's no money to the community it's out of that grant money that we got two years ago, or three years ago, from the Department of Transportation to market our airport. Great. Great. Good work. Uh, you'll notice that you have uh, a packet of contracts and 
appointments that we'll have to make at our organizational meeting we already do. If you have any questions, you can ask the uh, town clerk or the deputy town clerk or the second deputy town clerk. <coughs> Anybody else in the town council have anything to add? Yes. So. No, no. Okay. We have. So uh, we had kind of a late start because we asked the airlines to come up here and present to us uh, their proposals and ask questions of the public before we made our decision of what airline we would go with. And so therefore, some of our letters are coming in later than uh, uh, some previous letters. But uh, we do have a um, unanimous decision from the Louisville Town Board to submit a letter. And uh, we just have fresh off the press from Senator Joseph Grippo's office a letter <coughs> that says, uh, states, uh, Dear Mr. Holman, I uh, write to express my support for Wookie Gare's proposal. I do have this a copy for you, Andy. Okay. Uh, proposal to provide essential air service to and from Messina International Airport. Boutique Air is the best suited for Messina and the region. They have provided excellent service for the last two years. They also are best suited to provide the five criteria used for determining the uh, of essential air vendor. They continue to have overwhelming community support. The bid for Boutique Air is slightly higher, but they propose 42 flights per week, seven days a week. While SkyWest, another ES bidder, is also is only proposing 12 flights, six days a week. Boutique Air presently interlines with United and is in the process of setting up agreements with the other airlines. I'll dovetail on that. American should be soon, probably by the end of the year or the beginning of 2019. <laughs> Boutique Air is an incumbent airline at Messina Airport. That's important. Um, Boutique Air has committed to marketing and presently underwriting a large portion of the television commercial what Tom just talked about, that we'll be able to put out in the area such as Boston. They have also committed to marketing and social media uh, and radio to promote Messina Airport and community. I understand the Messina Town Board has done their due diligence researching the airline, which would best be suited for Messina International Airport, and I support their effort and believe that they have made the correct choice. As we all know, the purpose of essential air service is to provide access to major airports so people can travel easier in and out of Messina. St. Lawrence County is a beautiful area, but it lacks easy access. And by choosing boutique air for Messina, people in the surrounding communities will have the ability to get out into the world. Thank you for your consideration this matter. And in this matter, sincerely, Joseph A. Griffin, Senator. Well, we're in the mm -hmm. Thank you. As is our custom, if there's nothing else from the council, we open it up for the public to make any comments, questions from the press, or anybody. Tom, hi, my name is Gina Snyder, and Tom, I was just wondering if I had a follow-up question for you. I'm a little confused. Are we getting a new logo for the town of Messina? We are, at this time, we had asked WPBS to look at designing a new logo. At this time, no. We're just we're just looking into a, a possibility of a new logo. For, for the whole town, not yes. just the airport? Right. The whole, okay. And that is with the um, the funds that you got through that grant or from the 15000 from Boutique? No, that's through the, the, that's through the that's package. The, that's going to be the uh, logo that will be used in the commercial and it could possibly in the future be used by a town of Messina if it's, it's something that this board accepts in this community accepts. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else? Okay. I'll accept the uh, entertain the motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you.